they indeed say that examination is not the true test for brilliance or intelligence but wait examination is the true test of knowledge so if you would like to test the knowledge and understanding of your students after teaching them online this video is for you i am going to share with you four free online quiz creators too for teachers that you can start using immediately please watch till the end as i will also give you tips on how to stop your students from cheating in the classroom or online hello everyone my name is pat Hugo, and in this channel i do videos around digital tools that you can use to improve your business or your teaching if you are ready let's dive in Turning onto my computer, the very first quiz creator tools for teachers that I'm going to use is known as Quizlet. With Quizlet, you can create quizzes or tests for your students. All you need to do is to sign up using this URL. I will also put it in the description box below. With Quizlet, teachers can create effective tools to empower their students. You can see from here popular flashcards created by the other people. Again, you can also generate your quizzes using this AI box here. Although Quizlet is not completely free. So the next quiz creator tool we are going to look at is Testmos. You can get to Testmos at testmos.com. I will also put the link in the description box. With Testmos, you can build a test and distribute it online, allowing your students to take tests online. You can use it for free. If you want to upgrade to Pro Plan, there is also Pro Plan for you available. So there are different types of tests you can create. You can create something like a mathematics test. Your answers can be in form of option button, allowing the students to choose from multiple choice. You can also make it open-ended so that students will type in the answer they think is correct. You can also include images. As you can see, test models is really rich. Let me know if you have tried it or what you see about test models. Remember to subscribe to my channel if these videos are helpful for you. Now, let us go on to the next one, which is Flippity. If you are looking for something completely free, Flippity is your one-stop website where you can create quizzes and you do not have to pay anything. As you can see, there are different types of quizzes you can create from here. All you need is to choose anyone and create it. Let me know in the comment section if you would like me to teach you how to use any of these things. But they are basically easy to use and they are also completely free. The last but not the least is Google Form. With Google Forms, you can create a quiz or test. Remember, Google Forms basically is not for test, it is for survey, but you can also use it to create quizzes, except that it has some limitations. So I would suggest that you try the former one we use, which is Testmos. With Google Forms, you can also create a good test or quiz. So let us look at some of the features of Google Forms. You can use it to build forms and analyze your results. You can also work with clean response data. You can also share the forms via email or link or even put the link in your website. Google Form is also secure, compliant, and it also provides privacy. I would also like to learn in the comment section the type of quiz tool that you use for your online education. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. It is now time to give you the bonus and the bonus will be how to curtail cheating while administering online exam. So there are so many things you can do in order to stop students from cheating. One of the things you can do is by exploring proctoring software. This software will help you to keep students to their monitor. The webcam will detect when they try to get information from another place. Another one will be using overall time limits. When you use time limits, students will know that they don't have all the time to waste. You can as well use randomized technique so that all the students will not have the same question in the same number. 
you can also design your question so that it can be application based students will not have to memorize their answers but apply it from the knowledge they have acquired again webcam can be used and microphone to detect surrounding environments and finally you can implement browser lockdown tools so that students taking an online exam will not have to open other browsers in order to search for information these are things you can do in order to curtail cheating during an online exam i hope this video was helpful let me hear your opinion in the comment section below developing multiple questions for quizzes can be challenging for teachers so you may want to learn how you can do this using google gemini ai the video is popping up now also like the video and share it with your loved ones until next time keep learning